एवरीवन वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज पूर्णिमा एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू फाइव इंपॉर्टेंट डॉक्यूमेंट्स दैट ऑल स्टूडेंट शुड नो हु आर गोइंग टू अप्लाई फॉर एनी मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी इन अब्रॉड सो दीज फाइव डॉक्यूमेंट्स यू मस्ट बी अज्यूमिंग दैट वाई आई एम टेलिंग यू दिस थिंग राइट नाउ बिकॉज एडमिशन आर जस्ट बिगन सो द रीजन इज वाई आई एम मेकिंग दिस वीडियो इज दैट यू शुड स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग द डॉक्यूमेंट्स राइट Uh, from the beginning when you start your admission procedures so starting with all those five documents the number one and the most important document especially when you apply for the european countries any of the european countries uh, that you are applying to be it poland be it bulgaria be it romania be it italy or be it any european country you should uh, at least have these five important documents that you need to start making right now So the number would be number one would be the language proficiency uh, scorecard. It can be the IELTS, it can be PTE, it can be TOEFL. So it can be any of the language proficiency exam that you should uh, at least book your slot for if you are applying in any European country. The minimum aggregate required is the overall band in IELTS is required is six point five. So six point five is the basic minimum eligibility that all university should ask for. Uh, that you need to. Uh, prove your eligibility before taking or while taking the admission in any of the european university so apart from the ielts or any language proficiency exam the second most important document is the legalization of your documents so as soon as you uh, move ahead with the application procedures you should also get all the documents ready it should be legalized attested translated notarized and the proper set of document including the university documents and your original high school or all the high school transcripts should be there before you apply for your visa so make sure the complete legalization should be done uh, by either by your consultant or by you directly so this is the another important document or documents which you should consider third document is uh, the police clearance certificate in not in all european countries but in many of the european countries uh you need to at least have a, a police clearance certificate from your state you can get it from any of the of your nearby police station and usually embassies ask this police clearance certificate just to make sure that you have no criminal record and you are safe to uh study uh, outside india this may be required for your visa extension in that country as well for example in bulgaria uh you need to uh, provide the police clearance certificate even in romania you need to get a police clearance certificate ready uh, when you apply for visa in india and when you apply for your visa extension in bulgaria or in romania so this is another uh, very very important document which you should not miss uh, while you submit your documents in the embassy the fourth important document is your pre booked accommodation many european countries or universities do not provide uh, accommodation to the non european candidates so hence even if you are not getting the accommodation or the university dormitory you need to get your uh, dormitory booked for yourself uh, in order to uh, prove to the embassy that you have a place to live or to uh, or you have a pre booked dormitory in that particular country so the last document which is another very very important document is so mostly you should emphasize on this document this is the financial proof or the financial statement so usually is last 6 months bank statement is is required and they the embassies in europe they mostly uh, they see the balance uh, that you are maintaining for the last 6 months and that should be the maximum as possible some countries do have the minimum uh, limit maximum limit minimum or maximum limit on this document but what but what i would advise you that you should at least have 10 to 15 lakhs maintained uh, since last 6 months uh, in your account statement it can be your own account statement it can be either of your parents account statement so you should at least uh, like because the visa um, the admission process has already started so you should now at least try to maintain the amount the sufficient balance in your bank account so that is it i hope you enjoyed this information thank you so much for more such update please do subscribe our youtube channel ek love overseas